August is... I was going to say August is a little bit depressing because it's still so cold in Melbourne. But the upside of that is we get to go to the snow. I grew up in New Zealand, so people have this weird expectation of me being good at snow sports, but I'm really not. I've skied a few times in my life, but I only started snowboarding a couple of years ago, and I definitely regret not doing this as a kid, because learning to snowboard as an adult is so much harder. Um, I think it's probably because there's a mental block. Uh, as adults, we're just not used to falling over and failing all the time. And the more you fall, the quicker you learn because you're testing your boundaries. Oh my God, what a metaphor for life. Anyways, I got way more confident after a few beers. So after discovering that, I spent half the time drinking and then the other half snowboarding. The Chop House is probably the most affordable restaurant that maintains its quality on the mountain. We got a stein and a sandwich for under $20 on a Sunday special. Honestly, can't even get that in Melbourne City. I was pretty wrecked by the end of the four days and I was ready to get back to my city life. On a random afternoon, I took a long walk in Fitzroy and it reminded me why I live here. I think cities have personalities and if Melbourne were a person, it would be a guy that's a part-time tattoo artist. Probably also works as a head chef somewhere, but he's not doing it for the money because he's comfortable, you know? A couple of days later, I had a work trip to Sydney. I work for a pet health company, so there's always dogs around. The best thing about work trip is that you get to drink every night. The worst thing about work trip is that you're drinking every night. By the end of the four days, I was so ready for home and some quiet time. It's gonna be like three hours before dinner. Um, and I have leftover Carl's Jr. I've been watching a show called Mask Girl, it's so good, and they keep eating tabaki in there, and so I thought I'll make some. <laughs> and then it was the end of August, the sun was out, and my seasonal depression was going away. It's two days before spring, and I decided to do some spring cleaning. I have a lot of things. Um, I'm probably a mild hoarder. Uh, and I only use about 20% of the things that I own. I wear the four same jumpers. I work from home, so I kind of just rotate those. I have, a, I have a favorite pair of pants that I wear, actually two pairs of pants, and I mostly cook with salt, pepper, and chili. Well, I don't really cook much. But for some reason, every time I try and get rid of these things, there's a voice inside my head that goes, Oh, maybe that'll come in handy later, or you never know when you're gonna need it. And then I end up storing it away, and I, I end up keeping skincare that's given me a rash. <laughs> and maybe if I leave it in the cupboard for a few years, it's going to miraculously not give me a rash later. I literally keep empty jars, why? 15 pairs of pants that don't really fit me anymore. Um, but I'll keep it because in case I lose weight and they're gonna look good on me again. So today I'm gonna mute that annoying voice and try and throw things away. Sunscreen. Another sunscreen. Oh my God. I do love a Christmas jumper, but it's like a similar material. Jumper's all down here. Okay, this shirt is like, I could have worn it for Barbie. It's like a shirt that's so cropped and I don't think I'm ever gonna wear this. So it's going into the donate pile. In the end, I got rid of like 12 things. It wasn't the massive spring clean I was hoping for, but I did find things that I've been looking for like this eyelash serum. So I'm gonna call that a win. Hey, it's my first time ever doing a vlog. And at the time of me editing this, there's 88 subscribers. It sounds like a minuscule number when there's people that literally have millions of followers out there, but I'm just floored that 88 of you care enough and like my work enough to subscribe. And if I'm being honest, I know my work isn't amazing yet. And it's not amazing because learning anything new or doing anything new is a process. 
and I hope every video that I make is a little bit better than the last. If you like any of my videos, please subscribe. See you next time.